Tim Wagner with RTC4 here with Don Abbott from United Ministries. Good morning, Don. Good morning. Nice to meet you. Right. We're going to be talking today about how uh, you can come in here and receive some assistance. So Don's going to go ahead and talk about that. All right. Um, we're here at the community center. We're here uh, three days a week, one to three, and uh, we're open. Uh, well, actually, we're at the north end of the building, and what we have is uh, we. People that come in, they have to have, the first time they have to have a social security card, they have to have an ID card, and they have to have proof of uh, residence. Uh, and we do have an income requirement. Um, it's just a standard income requirement that everybody uses and uh, to make sure they don't make too much income. Uh, we actually are open, uh, we have, people can come in every 30 days and get food. And our pantry serves Rochester, Richland and Liberty Township. That's the three areas, the townships we cover. The other townships are covered by other pantries. And so um, basically uh, you, you come in and in most cases, uh, almost everybody's eligible, pretty well eligible. Um, so you can come in and see us and uh, we'll, we'll take care of you, get you food for you. And uh, if you have any, uh, any questions, well, you can get back to us. So. So it really is that easy to just it's, it's come right easy. in. It's easy, yeah. The food's there. We're just waiting for you to come get it. So that's basically what it is. So. That sounds like a wonderful program. Yeah, it's a, it's a good program. How many people are utilizing it, do you think? Uh, we feed approximately 200 a month. So that's pretty good. 200 pretty good. a month. Yeah, and I, I have to go get the food at Kroger or wherever we can get the donations or whatever. So, so it's, you actually get donations from? We, use, we have money, and also we have food donated from churches different pieces of town, so we have That's wonderful. food process. So we always have food, and it's just a matter of getting people in there. So, Great. so it sounds like an excellent program people should, it's a good should program. sign up for. It's a good program. So. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Tim Wagner, RTC4, sitting here with Pat Hoover, who's going to explain some more about the programs that uh, are available here at United Ministries. Pat, okay. good morning. Uh, people should come and see us because we provide help on an emergency basis. Uh, we provide uh, help with utilities, a utility payment. We can help with rent or a house payment, oh. and we help with medication. And we can do that one time a year uh, for two years. We, uh, because we also administer the funds from Salvation Army, mm -hmm. we can provide a gas voucher once a year. Well, wow. that's a good organization as well, uh, Salvation Army, yeah. Yes. That's good to be involved with. So, you said two to, how often, how often did you say? Once a year for two years. Oh, okay. Then we can't help the next year. Okay, okay, so that's sort of. It's an emergency basis. It's not something they should depend on every year. Right, so that's excellent. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah. Tim Wagner, RTC4, sitting here with Terry Moore. Good morning, Terry. Good morning. Uh, could you go ahead and tell us a little bit more about United Ministries, how it all started and uh, kind of how it happened? Sure. United Ministries started approximately 30 years ago when several local churches joined together to provide services for needy people in Fulton County. There are currently seven to eight churches um, that participate in this and give on a regular basis. We also receive United Way funds um, and donations from people who care about others in Fulton County. Um, we can help with, as they've told you, several different needs that people have. Um, the office is here in the Community Resource Center and the outreach program is open Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 9 to 11. Um, Donations are also appreciated from people in the community who are willing to support us. Um, there is a great need in Fulton County. We are so blessed to live in a community that cares about people. Mm -hmm. And um, I think what we do hopefully serves the community well. I think it does. Um, and we appreciate the support that we get from the local people. So you all are a uh, official not-for-profit yes, group then? Yes, that's, that's okay. right. Excellent. And I guess I didn't realize that United Ministries was that many separate churches that all come together and oh, yes. that's, that's excellent. Yes. That's excellent. Do you know which all churches? Uh, 
which I don't, know, I I don't <laughs> have a list with me, and okay. I would hesitate because I'd probably leave someone out. Okay, well, well we do won't that. do that then. Okay. Excellent. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank you for inviting us. We appreciate it. Anytime. Thank you. Tim Wagner, RTC4, sitting here with Joyce Schroff, and she's going to be discussing the Christmas basket program. Even though it's April, we still love Christmas here. <laughs> Joyce, good morning. Good morning. Uh, under the umbrella of United Ministries is also the Christmas Basket Program, which we take applications in November, and we usually deliver the Christmas baskets the Saturday before Christmas. Um, it's very easy to apply. We usually have applications on uh, Saturdays and maybe a couple of Tuesdays in November, and we really don't turn anybody away. If somebody thinks they need a Christmas basket, they're welcome to come and apply for a Christmas yeah, basket. And who doesn't need a Christmas basket? Yes. Yeah. And they get um, toys for children 12 and under and food for the family. And how much food they get depends on how many people are in the family, of course. So um, we try to mix it up sometimes and have some different things some, year, mm -hmm. some years that we haven't had the years before. All this is donated, um, most of the food is donated, the rest of it we buy from Kroger's, and all the money that we use for buying the food is donated. So we... So again, donate. Yeah, we need your donations. But we are, um, we always give all the praise to God. We are so blessed in this community um, to be able to serve the people that aren't so blessed. and. Um, and I know they appreciate it. Sometimes we even get little thank you notes, which is nice. But well, yeah, yeah. Um, you're not doing it for that. Though, no, yeah. we don't. Um, and anybody that helps with the program is always blessed um, to to be able to help with it. And um, we just hope it can go on and on and on. But you have to come in and apply, or you know, that, yeah. that's that's what keeps it going. Well, it's a great service, and thank you very much for being a part of it and uh, helping to make this community a better place. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.